Your ideas are appreciated if you have them. So if you want to tell me more about what you think can be done in society to change things around, let me know. Because now we are at the turning point. And I'm really surprised when people pay so much attention to things other than what I say, you know? I really stopped caring about what my videos look like and what they sound like a long, long, long time ago because I realized that I have only a little bit of time left to basically pass on what I've learned. And people pay attention to everything. The noise of my fan. Yeah, the fan is noisy. By the way, I have air condition on now, and I told you guys before, I don't like AC. There's something in this one, not this one, but I remember a year and a half ago, one AC, I couldn't sleep in that one place where I was staying. I couldn't sleep at all. And that was the asbestos. Something was in that AC, like an old unit. And you see, the thing is that I was, <coughs> I couldn't sleep. I was sick. I was, uh, yeah, I couldn't sleep. You understand? And so the RH positive people, I'm assuming, they would be able to sleep. Right? Yeah, no, I know for a fact they, some of them did. The ones that I met, that I know, yeah. But does it mean it doesn't affect them? Well, it affects me immediately to the point where I'm... But then, oh, I know what it is. I get out of there. Now I'm cool. So if you are positive and don't catch it, you'll be there. You're not too, you're not sick. You may feel a little, not as well as you could, but over time you're gonna suffer. So all of that sickness, all of that sensitivity, all of that allergy stuff, it's there to protect us. You know, all of it is there to protect you. It is there to help you uh, keep, a, keep it down, keep the effect keep the negative effects down, you know what I mean? Because then you are able to operate on your level, on a full level. You see, it's not easy for me ever to um, plan B things. Is it easy for you to plan B? How is it when you are choosing plan B? Do you just shut off plan A completely and just, that's it now. I'm now a plan B kind of person and you're cool, yeah? Or could it be that your whole mind and body and being is still walking towards the track of plan A because you know deep inside that there was a way to get there, except you haven't gotten there. It means that there's nothing wrong with plan A. There's something wrong with your approach. And chances are, if your intuition, your energy drags you towards that middle path that's right there where plan A is located, it's staying on the path, that's what it's about. You see, setting goals, I always had a problem with that. With every job or business I was involved in, setting goals, well, guess what? Yeah, you set goals maybe for employees who are not uh, involved, like emotionally involved in it, sure. For you as a business owner, yeah, maybe. No, maybe not, because the goal can be set too low or too high. I don't know, what do you think? Because I like to just focus on the path and stay on it, you know? And then the goals will come. 
but you need to stay on it. You can't let uh, success or even when people say, oh, you made it, wow, you are, that's been often my downfall that people say, oh, let's celebrate this, let's celebrate that. No, I haven't even started yet, baby. You see, people tend to underestimate you. And that can work well for you, and I guess I have learned my whole life to sort of... Um, but the thing is that people under... When people... The thing is... Um, when people underestimate you, you also got to keep them on a safe distance because otherwise they will drive you nuts because they want you to um, prove yourself, basically. Because honestly, they're not bright enough to realize they're not brighter, they're not as bright as you. They're not bright enough. They don't realize that. They don't realize that there are thought paths, that there are things you're thinking about that they cannot even grasp. So, the bad part about when you settle for plan B is that you have plan B people around you and the energy level can drop way below your own. And that's often a big part. It's not that you make less money, it's not that you, it's just the energy is just, bam, it's just down. It was up here. And you always have to deal with people who are not so competent and then use their so-called people skills to kind of uh, make up for it, which isn't, you know, worth getting too involved in more than you have to. But the bad thing is these plan B types of energies, when you are around them, they can really, really make a big difference. I mean, such a difference you wouldn't believe it. Plan A people talk about ideas and visions and plans, and that's what it's all about. Stay away from these plan B people, seriously. Be very, very careful, very careful, because the next thing you know, you will spend years doing the same thing and go nowhere, you know? And I know a lot of people, they are, most people are okay with that. They'll say, yeah, I settled, but hey, that's it. At least I don't have to put too much effort in. But the arch negatives, they're around the same area and they're dying inside because they have this energy. And they'll start using this energy the wrong way because they have it, because there's something inside of you that says, look, I'm going to adrenalize you now so you can kick it up a notch and get it up in gear and go for what's right for you. So I am encouraging all of you, you know, maybe now is not the perfect time. Maybe you have to feel you can't, I don't think it's right to say, oh man, I messed up here. Let me right now. No, the time to come back, it's like a circular thing. Life is a circle. Uh, it, it'll come back around, but it's not always going to come back around the moment that your mind makes up. I'm ready now. You know what I mean? But it's also about the pattern, and the pattern includes learning where it, dis it got interrupted or distorted. And when you notice that, I think then um, the path will be right there and the path will be clear it's about the path the path makes a difference you know and it'll get you there but it's your mind and other things threatening how smooth it goes how uh, well you stay on it and how things will come to you because you stay on it now, I have a few more seconds left to thank you and tell you that please subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted of more videos. But also go to resusnegative.net, subscribe there. That's my blog. And you can leave a comment there. But more than anything, I would like for you to share this video. 
share it on your Facebook, wherever, and ask a question with it. Who among my friends is RH negative? Now, even if the people don't reply in public, maybe some will message you. I think it's important for you get to know who the RH negative people in your community now.